Welcome to Combative Wing Chun, and today I'm going to show you how to counter grabs. So this is very useful for uh, kids or uh, ladies, women. Uh, you might encounter men who are larger people, stronger people, grabbing you, trying to control you. So here's some self-defense techniques that even smaller people can do. It doesn't take any strength, and I'll show you how to do them right now. There are basically about five grabs that you encounter. There are probably more, but we'll just deal with five basic ones. The first one is the same side grab. So which means his side and this side, we're on the same side. This is very easy, okay? All you need to do is just touch your ear. All right, so let's say I'm just on the street somewhere waiting for a bus and this guy grabs me really hard. Don't let me go. I just gently touch my ear and then he can't let go. And he can't um, hold on to that, right? You're grabbing hard, right? Okay, as hard as you can. I just like, oh, I just touched my ear. It doesn't even take any energy, okay? This is just amazing how much leverage there is. Now, how you can um, combine something is just open up and then hit him in the face like that. That's it. So, one, one more. So, you grab, touch your ear, and at the same time, when you touch your ear, boom, do a palm to the face, knee to the balls. Okay, ladies, very useful, and just get out of there. And the guy's not going to be bothering you anymore. So, I showed you one of them. So, just make sure that when he grabs you on the same side, I'll show you on this side is that your, your hand just goes straight up like this, like a choo-choo train. Just go straight up like this. If you start to lift your elbow like this, it's not going to work. Or like this, it's not going to work. It has to go straight up. It helps you actually open your hand like a, like a knife and just go straight up and touch your ear. So if he grabs you, so if you lift your elbow, it doesn't work. If you lift it this way, it doesn't work. If you lift it straight up, easy. That's how it works. Here's the next grab. It's just the cross arm grab. So we cross arms, right? This arm. In this arm. So with this one, what I like to do is do, use a um, uh, Wing Chun technique. It's called the Tan Sao. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step over here first so that I'm perpendicular to it. Let's this way. Okay. So he grabbed me. I'm going to step over here and at the same time, all I'm going to do, I'll just show you slowly, is I grab my, I'm just going to roll my hand out this way and then extend my energy forward like that. That's what my hand is doing. Okay, I'm just rolling it over like a tan cell. It's a tan cell and just extending energy that way. And then with my body, I'm facing him square and I'm moving in a perpendicular to him. That's all I'm doing. So I do the grab, do the same time. And now it's very really lightly, he's totally off balance. I don't even have to push it. And how's your wrist? Good. Okay, so one more time. So remember, just rotate and now I'm here. Okay, it doesn't take much for me to just basically just push this on. You can grab hard, you can't grab hard because your wrist is a really bad angle here. So at this point, what you can do is either kick, okay, or just push it off and just walk, walk away, okay. Or you can hit him in the eyes, eye rig, okay. So those are just simple things you can do. Because if you push it off, this is gonna come off because there's no, there's no grip there, there's no strength. So because, no, look how the wrist is, there's no way he's gonna hang on to that. Okay, so those are some options you can do. Let me just show you one more time. So he grabs my cross arm. Okay, if I just try to stay here and do that, it may or may not work. If I just do this, it may or may not work. But if you combine them, then now you have this. Okay, so once again, let's do it quickly. Okay, so I'm looking at something and something grabs me. Boom, boom, and I hit him here. I can practice off and kick him in the balls and walk away. So that's how you counter the cross arm grab. Here's another one that you encounter a lot is the double, uh, double under grab. So let's say that you're like, oh, please don't hit me. And then he grabs your arms like this. Now what do you do? Um, very simple. Just throw your elbow over, boom, knees, okay, down, all right, yeah. <laughs> in your head, okay. So uh, that's how you use it. Let me show you one more time. So it's like, please don't hurt me. And then he's grabbing your arms. So either you roll this elbow over, or you can roll this elbow over. Since he's already this way, it's easier for me to roll this elbow over. So once you get the over, elbow over his forearm, drop the elbow, okay? And then here you open to a back fist, or you can elbow, okay? Or you can knee, okay? Either way, chop the neck, okay? Either one of those, just push them off, whatever you wanna do. Uh, you basically um, got all of that grab. So some important tips about this, right? So please don't hurt me, he grabs it. Uh, you don't want to just stand there and try to roll your elbow over. See, I'm standing here. It's not going to work because he's very strong. So what I need to do, like what I did in the second TV, I need to move perpendicular to him. 
See, I'm perpendicular, he's facing this way, I'm facing that way, and then drop your elbow, and then now you got hit. If you hit him here, boom, on the nose, on the eyes, doesn't matter, he's gonna let go of that one, right? Boom, boom, okay? And then if you want, follow up with the palm. So that's the double underneath grab. Here's the fourth kind of grab, is the double over grab. So he just grabs like this. So with this one, what I want to do with my arms, I want to do, I want to do two tan saws like this. I want to make a, like gathering a lot of sand in my hands, like that. So what I'm doing with my, my hand is like this, in a circle, circular motion, gathering up. And then once I get one of the hands over them, just, just extend one of them, like this, tan saw, just like we did the other one. So once again, double hand grab, okay, so I'm going to go here. And then once I get one hand over them, just extend. Okay, not that much, just enough. Then I get that gets rid of the grip. So one more time. Right? So you want to go underneath and extend. And notice that I'm also going perpendicular to where he is. So I'm doing this with my arms, and also I'm going perpendicular to where his body is. So one more time. Boom, boom. Okay, here, once again, you can do elbows, knees, elbow here, punch palm, more elbows, whatever you want to do. But once you get here, once you get that tonsil over these two hands, you have control of it. And it's very hard for him to keep that grip. All right, so just one more time, slow motion. Grab, I gather. See how his hands are twisted together now? And then once that happens, I just move over here and then keep this structure, the tonsil. And then now uh, this hand's lost grip and he's got a really bad grip on this hand already. So boom, you can hit him there, okay. knee right there. Elbow there, or you can try with this one and keep hitting this way. Boom, 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 boom. Eyes, knees, elbow. Okay, that's it. Here's another kind of grab that you find that in the street that you find on the street. It's just a grab from behind. So he is just grabbing you on the arms like this. There's no need to struggle like this. All you need to do is just turn around. That's it. So simple, right? Okay, you grab it really hard as hard as you can. I just turned around. I didn't even do anything. Okay, so grab, turn around, and then chain punch. Boom, 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 boom. Keep giving the balls. All right, so that's, those are the five grabs that you encounter, and I hope it helps you out to get out of nasty situations from attackers. Thanks for watching my video on how to use self-defense against grabs that you encounter on the street. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out some of my other videos that I have on this channel that you'll like and make sure that you stay tuned for our next video. See you soon.